I mean, who sustained a gunshot wound, uh, in, uh, entry there, exit there, or did it go in there? Yes. Uh, across the front of the elbow, and uh, luckily he hasn't damaged his artery, you must always feel for the artery. So remember in orthopedics, it's look, feel, move. So when you look, you see the, the evidence of the um, uh, two ent uh, entrance and exit wound. And the other thing to notice on, on just examining him, just put your other hand out, is the uh, substantial difference in the uh, thena muscle bulk. So you can see this is quite flat and that's uh, nice and convex. The other, you can see this thumb standing in a natural position of slightly abducted compared to the rest of the hand, whereas this one is standing in the plane of the hand, so it's uh, relatively adductive. Um, you can't really see wasting and you can't see any uh, much else in the way of trophic changes. This is obviously an old injury to his left index finger. So that's uh, look, feel. You want to feel the pulses, as I mentioned, just to make sure the, art, the gunshot didn't damage the artery. And then really what you want to do is feel uh, for a very specific uh, assessment. So normally the students in the exam, when you say to them, they go through the thing of look, they say look, no scars, no sinuses, no yada, yada, yada. It's all a waste of time. What you're looking for is you're trying to solve this guy's problem. He's sustained a gunshot wound now, we're trying to sort out the problem. So. If, when you look, you see the gunshot wound, you see the wasting. When you feel, you're not feeling for warmth, like the students like to say, warmth and, um, and, 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 and tenderness and flatness. This guy's been shot up there. What you're trying to feel down here is, does he have sensation uh, to the hand? And what is the, the, the ge uh, geographical distribution of the lack of sensation? Can you feel there? Yes. Just say loudly, so you can hear. You can feel? Yes. Yes. Can you feel there? I feel that one is very slow. It's, a, it's ab abnormal sensation. It's a very important point for the students. If you ask the patient whether they can feel, they'll often say to you, yes, they can feel. But you must then compare it to the other side. So, is this the same as that? No, it's not Very different, eh? Is this the same as this? No, it's not Very different. And, and this the same as this? Yeah, the same. Okay, and if you turn over, that's the same as that, eh? Yes, the same. And over there, the same as that? Not, there and there. Not, not the same. Not the same, eh? So he seems to have some radial sensory deficit as well. We'll come back to that in a second. So that's look and feel. That's really all you want to feel for, except for the pulses as we've done already. And now we want to move. So first is act, uh, active motion to make a fist. You can see the classic benediction sign, also called the gun sign. That is because this FTP is supplied by the ulnar nerve, this FTP is supplied by the ulnar nerve, and these fingers can pull in. Because all the FTPs are joined together, in one muscle bulk, this one invariably gets pulled in as well. Um, but this one is often a separate muscle belly and therefore doesn't get pulled in. So that's the classic muscle sign. So when you examine him closely, you'll realize he's got no FPL, bend there. He can't bend the FPL. He does not have an FTP to the index finger, bend, nothing. He does not have, relax a second. He does not have an FTP to the middle finger, bend. So here he's pulling, but I think mostly through there. It might, it, it might be that his innervation extends from the ulnar nerve into that one. But these are intact, and all the FTS is intact. If you look at the FTS of the middle finger, bend. You can't bend that FTS. You can't bend this FTS. You can't bend that FTS. We don't test the little because it's often a, a variable FTS. Um, so he has no FTSs, no FTPs, no FPL, and no thena muscles. Bring your thumb across to your little finger like this. You cannot oppose his thumb. You cannot abduct. Got complete wasting. Uh, he complained of some radial sensory deficit, so let's just see. Lift up your wrist and lift up your fingers, lift up your thumb. Doesn't seem to have any radial uh, motor deficit. So, this is a classic high median nerve palsy with the classic uh, benediction sign or trigger sign or pointing sign. Uh, 